Coronavirus Q&A, since this coronavirus outbreak began, we've been working to keep you informed on what's happening on the federal, state, and local level, trying to separate fact from the fear. Absolutely, and that means going to officials and city leaders for answers to our questions and yours as well. But during this time, we're also talking to the experts live, asking them directly about the coronavirus. And today we're speaking with Dr. Robert A. Frolickstein, an emergency room doctor working right here in San Antonio at Methodist Hospital. Doctor, thank you for joining us, first of all. And secondly, what changes I, have you well. what changes have you seen in the ER since this whole crisis has begun? Well, really, right now, it's uh, it almost seems kind of like this calm before the storm. Uh, people are not coming as frequently as they normally do. Uh, and we're in the midst of uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Doctor, I think you might have dropped your, did you have a microphone or something on you? I think you might have dropped it or covered it or something there. Having trouble uh, hearing you a little uh, bit. Can you? Yeah, now that's, where we got you that's there. better. What's your best okay. advice to somebody that is that is sick and thinks they may need to come to the ER? Are there certain things that you would like them to do before they make that decision? Uh, yes. In fact, our group has set up a uh, telemedicine uh, All right, obviously we're having some trouble hearing uh, a little bit with his microphone. He said that they've actually set up a telemedicine hotline at Methodist, uh, and they're basically asking people to maybe call that before they come down there. Obviously, if it's still an emergency, they want you to call 911. They want you to reach out to some officials uh, uh, to, to get help, but they also want you to be careful because what we're talking about with these Healthcare workers, mm -hmm. he sees, they're the front lines in this whole thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And they're already in many times stretched thin. So you want them to remain healthy and may, so they can remain at their jobs serving us as important as they Absolutely, can. and there's some good at-home practices. Not everyone who contracts COVID-19 is going to necessitate, necessitate a trip to the ER. You know, some of the things that the doctor was going to talk to us about, staying hydrated, um, you know, taking acetaminophen, um, things like that, just to kind of treat yourself as best you can at home, and then contacting before you go to the ER, if that is something that you feel like you really need to do, contacting them, um, you know, after, or, or contacting them before you head to the ER. Yeah, I think we have Dr. Frolickstein back with us. Doctor, uh, I hope we have your microphone back. I'm sorry for these technical difficulties, but do you think no what's the best advice you were talking to us about if somebody is sick and thinking they may need to visit the ER? Yeah, thanks. Um, normally, you know, we always say if you're in doubt, come in and we'd be happy to see you. Uh, these are unique times and if we have too many people with COVID-19 in the emergency department, then we're running the risk of of making our healthcare or your your healthcare team ill and not being able there to take care of you. you so what we ask is that you call your doctor before you come, and they can assess you. And, and we have set up a telemedicine option to where you can. Uh, log on and talk to one of uh, the emergency physicians and they can assess you and decide if they you need to come to the emergency department. You know, speaking of keeping staff healthy, we've seen these scenes from across the country of a shortage of masks, a shortage of medical gear. Are, are you equipped there at your hospital to handle, you know, if, if it comes to that uh, as, as um, extreme amount of cases, if it gets to that? Yes, ma'am. We have uh, processes in place and equipment and we have uh, plenty of it right now. We're being very cautious with it. We're not only using it if we need to, because uh, we know this may last for many weeks or even a few months, and we want to have equipment to protect the staff that whole time. Great. Dr. Robert Frolickstein from Methodist Hospital, thank you. And I just want to, I want to mention we will have the doctor back with us tonight uh, during the 9 o'clock news where he's going to answer some of the questions that our viewers have. Dr. Robert A. Frolickstein from Methodist Hospital, thank you for joining us. We'll be right back.